हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट अ चिपिंग चार्ज अप्लाई सपोज वॉट एवर यू कैन चूज यर शिपिंग शिपिंग चार्ज एंड आफ्टर ऑटोमेटिक ईयर अमाउंट प्लस सो वॉट एवर पेएबल टोटल सपोज यू आई कैन चूज डिलक्स सो यू कैन सी इट ईयर सो लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कंटिन्यू लाइक अ लॉग इन रजिस्टर बिकॉज ऑफ वंस यू कैन रजिस्टर आफ्टर यू कैन प्लेस द ऑर्डर गेस्ट ऑर्डर ऑल्सो पॉसिबल हियर लाइक without registration but we need to put first registration part so suppose it's registration so we don't want to show here like a email and password suppose it's not registration so we need to show email and password like this we can do but first we need to sort out like a register part in this video and uh, i can show you how we can register and what validation do you need everything i will clear in this video you are new in the channel as well in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you will always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning also do you want to buy any projects so just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it you can see it like a three project here there otherwise you click on the buy others projects so you can see it all the list and also here script menu there and also do you want to work any freelancer work so just contact telegram whatsapp and skype but we are always prefer skype okay so let's start now so first of all we need to find out where is this pop up suppose you are click on the login so here is a open the pop up so we need to find the pop up inside a code so simple just minimize how you to just go to resources views layout inside app.blade.php let's make some minimize so i can see it proper way just scroll down so you can see it here like a one pop up sign in models you can see it here and i can go to header so you can see it here like a sign model code here so it means we have found the code so you can see it here so this is the login code we don't want to touch login code we just need to work inside a registration code so registration code i can open let's create a refresh the page so we can see click on the register so you can see your email address so we can change to email address we can make professional passwords and sign up buttons and here is a term and condition agreement okay so also we need to make a required so always you can is already there required so you can see it here and also you can see the email and password but we need to add another field like a name so just you can add a new fields name and also you can change registration email to name you can do so is good otherwise you can do it like register name so is very simple very easy okay name and here also you can change email to tax and here you can change name to register email to emails and also you can change password sorry here not here here passwords okay and now sign up buttons and also we need to provide is a star as a red color so look like a professional so class here you can make like a style directly we don't want to create a class and take time so just you can do color is equal to red just copy means you can copy all and you can put step by step every place like this and let's go back again refresh the page and click on the sorry click on this login and you can see it like a name email address and password here is the sign up button so all thing is required suppose i can add like test test at the rate gmail.com here i will add a password 123456 and i click on the sign up so means it is not working once i click on the sign up it is not working because of we have not done any code about server side means controller side so what we can do we need to create one ajax because this is the like pop up so always need a using the ajax you are click so we need to call the ajax and we need to check okay this email already register not register suppose register so we can told him this email already register please use another like this message we can show and the password whatever he add so we can add inside a database so let's start now using ajax so first of all what we can do here is a form here you can provide like a one id submit form register after you can provide here another thing like submit form register now do you want to do like a method is equal to post and inside you need to pass like a one parameter 
one minutes means CRF token. So anywhere you can go, admin side you can go and you can copy CRF field token. So not take time much. This is the reasons. Okay. So form is ready now. Now we need to work our sign up code. So simple go to scroll down and here you can type our script. Once you can type script, so we need to short out here like uh, our JavaScript code. So simple means Ajax code, otherwise jQuery codes, whatever you can think, you can do it. Body dot delegate. Now our form name, form ID name. So submit form register. And here we can type our event, so submit and function. Inside app type like one event functions and here I can do like event e dot prevent default so means no need to refresh the page this reason we need to stop okay and here I can do console dot log and here I can pass hi so we understand our function means our button event is working not working so just save these files just go and press F12 so you can see it here and I just refresh the page now i will click on the logins after i click on the registers and i can type like a test because i don't want to use any personal data test is a test and one two three four five six just click on the sign up let's agreement sign up so you can see hi means it is working very well no any issue our javascript means a jquery code working very well you can see i click multiple times so you can find out like counts okay so let's go back again and so we need to pass our ajax code so we have already done some place. So let's check is already there, not there. Okay, here not there. Cart inside is there. So here also not there. Product inside there, not there. Let's see. So we can do it very quick. This is the reason. Otherwise, no any reasons. So let's go to listing. So let's scroll down. Here's their code. So just copy all code. Like uh, you can go to like product inside at list.blade.php and you can copy and put inside app.blade.php. Okay. Once you can post here. So here you can change whatever function name there. Otherwise you can do like a this. This means like a whatever you are click on button event. So whatever I did there about this form, this form data all get inside of this. Okay. And here you can change your routes and we don't want to need anything about that so just remove so here you can change sub register whatever do you want to like auth register you can type like your route name okay i just create a auth register now i'm going to routes inside go to web.php and just scroll down so we can check any place there our coding so here there so just paste here and you can create a new auth register here you can do auth register. Let's go to app HTTP. So here there auth controller. We can use this controller auth controller. Just put here. Okay. And here you can change like get to post methods. Now we need to go to auth controller and we can create a new function. I just scroll down. You can create a new functions like here. Functions auth register request dollar requests. Let's make here DD and here I can pass request all. Okay, I save these files and also I save this file here. Let's go back again and refresh the page. So very simple, just click on the registers and I can add like taste, taste and sign up. Let's click on this button, sign up. So you can see calling very well and here you can see it name email and password so it's working very well let's open our database so i can create a new users so first open the database before we can write our coding so simple we need to check first our email address so we need to declare here our model you use app models and here you can type users models suppose do you want to see so you can go to like app inside model inside you can see it users here we can create another function check emails is equal to check email inside we need to pass our email address because already we are getting here you can see it here okay 
So let's go to user models and inside I need to write a new function static function email and here you can copy all things so we can do it very quick and here you can type like email is equal to is equal to dollar email so we don't want to make a duplicate this is the reason here you can change to get to first okay so here work is done what i did first i will create a one functions and function inside i will pass inside model and model represent means uh, return the data this is the database inside already their email cannot there so simple you can make here one condition if is not empty otherwise empty suppose the empty so going to here otherwise else part and we need to write dollar json status is equal to false here i can make like a message this email already registered please choose another like this message you can type this email already one minutes i make a spelling mistake already register please choose another like this message you can type and here you can make like echo json and code and here you can pass the data okay so so our email found so it's going to here because the empty so it's going to here so now we need to create a new account save is equal to new user we are getting the name so simple you can pass here name we can use also trim function suppose user can add a space so we don't want to add inside space inside our database just you can use a trim function same thing you can do email and here you can do emails and also you can make password so we need to use like a hash already i have a declare here so simple you can change your passwords hash make dollar request password now last step is a save and here you can do like one message that is equal to true and our success message need to show email address successfully means uh, your account successfully register register is very simple very easy okay let's save these files and uh, just go to database first so ecommerce.com you can see it here and here you can see it like user tables so we are done name email and password suppose name email and password let's scroll down so create and update it. means everything is good and here is already their default value so we don't want to change anything here let's go to backs and i just click on the sign up so you can see it here is calling the data here you can see success message that is true message your account successfully register otherwise created whatever do you want to like you can use the words i think created is good this email already registered okay what is good now we need to show here message so go to again app.blade.php here you can type if data dot status is equal to true so going to here and here we need to write our message alert data dot message okay and here i can type windows otherwise you can do like location dot hr if you can refresh the page location dot reload Re reload okay so page has been refreshed once the success message found so let's try now it's working not working first you need to refresh but i already press sign up button so here is already one account created you can see it here test test at the gmail dot com means is working test at the test dot com is created successfully so let's go back again click on the logins click on the registers and here i can do test same thing i can do test at the test.com and here password i click on the sign up so you can see it here message this email already registered please choose another because of here is already there suppose i can add another 
test1 at the test.com and I click on the sign up your account successfully created once you click on the ok so page has been refreshed once is a refresh so we need to show here logout button but once we can short out like a login button no once you can short out login one login here after we can show here a logout button but right now only done register one so we don't want to do so next video we can short out like a send email suppose this is a register we need to verify his email address so once verify after he can log in otherwise we don't want to log in because we need a like a only premium email address we don't need like a different email address. suppose not verified email address why we need to use so in this video i have explained registration part so do you want to register and you can register and after you can save inside database and you can do it okay so i hope you have clear about registration so next video we can short out like a send an email and he can verify so smtp connection i will show you in next video and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions